The Paw Federal Building in Roanoke, Virginia was built in the 70s. Our mission was to renovate the entire building, including its brick exterior. During our early planning, we identified several challenges with removing and replacing the bricks within the schedule. With the help of our technology division, we found a solution named SAM. SAM stands for Semi-Automated Mason. It's a robot that can lay bricks stick six times faster than Mason can. The robot is designed to work with Masons to help them work faster, safer, with increased production. The project had a lot of challenges. It's in a remote part of Virginia. It's Roanoke, Virginia. Labor is a big issue for us. And so, you know, there's a limited supply of manpower uh, all around the country as far as Masons. Also, the security clearances that a lot of these jobs have is just another layer of um, you know, complications to get people approved to work. So that was huge. That was really, I think, a big selling point. We knew Sam could potentially overcome our labor and schedule challenges. But we wanted to ensure this piece of technology would add value to the project overall. We researched Sam and studied the drawings for the renovation. After months of detailed preparation, we concluded this project was the perfect canvas for Sam's capabilities. The design of the building, um, the fact that there weren't any punched openings, no window openings, long flat runs, you know, we thought it would be an opportunity and a good project to, to utilize this technology on. Once we identified Sam's potential on this project, we still had to convince our client. To do that, we worked with Construction Robotics to perform extensive tests and mock runs to ensure Sam could deliver precision and quality. It wasn't easy, so we had a lot of skepticism. This is a design excellence job, so we had, um, you know, there were a lot of quality expectations. Specifically, they wanted to make sure that the hand-laid brick and the robot laid brick, you know, seamless, that you couldn't see a transition. That part was the part where we collaborated and worked together with Hoar uh, and Uber to put together a proposal to explain to the owners, hey, this is what you can expect, and this is the kind of benefits that you will get within your project. Our project team and our masonry partners went through rigorous training to operate SAM safely and efficiently. SAM may be a robot, but it can't work on its own. We relied on our trained masons to operate the high-tech tool and help us monitor its progress. It eliminated a lot of heavy lifting, repetitive lifting. So from a safety standpoint, you know, they're, they really embraced it from what we saw. With our client, design team, and masonry partners on board, our next focus was ensuring we maintained exceptional quality throughout the project. First, we developed a custom, detailed quality control program. On this job, we had a basically developed a special, you know, masonry QC program just to monitor the brickwork. You know, and the robot has a lot of tools built in that kind of helps with that. So you can see real time, you know, how many bricks it's laid. Um, it can detect whether a brick's out of tolerance. You know, it measures the bed joints of the bricks, so it was really, it added a layer of QC, you know, that we wouldn't have been able to provide with hand-laid brick. Uh, the project managers from Horror Construction were all the time monitoring what is going on in our world, in our project, 24-7. Uh, and we received sometimes questions from the Horror team saying, hey, uh, we learned that yesterday um, we have less brick than today. And it was amazing to see how the whole team was also learning uh, about not thinking in, in weeks and months, but thinking in minutes and the day before. And that is huge for the construction industry. As you know, typically in projects like this one that we work together, um, you are thinking in, in days of productivity, but now we are thinking in minutes of productivity. Definitely by building efficiency uh, and increasing productivity with the uh, amount of people that was available, it was a huge success. 
because you know laying uh, to around 250,000 bricks with a crew of five to six masons, that is unbelievable. Sam laid 70% of the bricks on the Paw Federal building, laying an average of 3,000 bricks per day and helping our trained masons meet the challenging production schedule. But for our team and our client, it wasn't just Sam's speed that was a success. What stands out to me is really the quality. If you look at a picture of the condition of the brick before we started the job and then you look at it now, it's, it's like night and day. Um, the alignment of the bricks, the, the bed joints, I don't think you could achieve that with, with hand-laid brick. 